Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Mike Davies and in this video I'll be showing you how to fix your eraser not working in GIMP. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.22 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of GIMP and Inkscape tutorials on here. You can get more by becoming a DMD Premium member. And I have tons of free software help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. You can enroll in any of my Skillshare classes by visiting GIMPschool.com. And you can get more with a premium membership to Davies Media Design. I'll include all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So let's dive right into today's topic on how to fix GIMP's eraser tool not working properly or not working the way you intended. There are several reasons why this may be occurring. The first is going to be that perhaps your image does not contain an alpha channel. So your images in GIMP are going to contain red, green, and blue color channels. They're also going to have the ability to contain an alpha channel, which simply means anytime you erase pixels on an image layer, it's going to reveal transparency behind those pixels. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So right now, if I grab my eraser tool, note that my background color right now is blue. And let me just increase the size of my eraser here over in the tool options. So let's say you erase part of your image. Instead of it displaying transparency, revealing whatever's going on behind this image layer, it's revealing this blue color, which is simply our background color. So if I come over here to my layers, channels, and paths, under channels, you'll see I have a red, green, and blue channel. So right now I do not have an alpha channel on here and that's why this is just basically painting my background color with the eraser tool. So let me hit Control Z to back up before we use the eraser. What I can do here is come back to my layers panel and I can add an alpha channel to this image by right clicking and going to add alpha channel. If this is grayed out, it means you already have an alpha channel on your image. So I'll click that option. You'll also see that the name of my image is no longer bold. So that's another way to tell that you have an alpha channel on here. And now when I use my eraser tool and erase on here, it's going to reveal that transparency checkerboard there. So let's hit control Z to back up. So if you've added an alpha channel to your image and you try to use the eraser tool, but it still doesn't work, there are some other things that could be going on here with your image. So let's say you go over here to the channels tab and you do have an alpha channel on here, but when you go to erase on here, nothing happens. What could be going on is that you have one of your locks turned on. So for example, this first option here is going to lock pixels. So when I try to erase on here, nothing's gonna happen. In fact, I get a little warning down here that says the active layers pixels are locked. So I can fix this by simply coming over here and while this is my active layer, coming over and clicking the lock pixels icon again, that will unlock the pixels and now I can erase. I'll hit control Z to back up. You may also have the alpha channel locked on here. So once again, when I try to erase, because using the eraser tool is going to affect the alpha channel, if I have that option locked on my image layer, nothing's gonna happen, so make sure you have that option unlocked as well. So those are two common issues that could be going on with your eraser tool. However, all of this has been going on with a single layer, so we just have one single image layer. I actually have another composition here with several layers, so we have my image layer, but then I have some graphics on here, including text. So in order for GIMP's eraser tool to work properly, you have to understand how it works with multiple layers. In this case, let's say you grab your eraser tool from the toolbox and you just want to erase this shape here, the square shape behind the text. And when you go to erase it, nothing's happening. So you're wondering what's going on. Well, you'll see that if I also come down here towards this not working text, that actually is working. So the reason for that is that we are actually on that not working text layer. Let me hit control Z to back up. So your eraser is going to work only on whatever active layer you're clicked on by default. So if I wanted to erase the rectangle shape here, I'd have to come over to whatever layer that's on, in this case, the text box layer. And then when I come over here, you'll see this still isn't working because I actually have the lock pixels option turned on. So when I turn that off, again, I'm on the text box layer. When I erase this, now it's going to actually erase that rectangle. So I'll hit Control Z to back up. 
Some of you may be wondering, well, what if I want to erase everything simultaneously on my composition and basically reveal that transparent checkerboard background? Well, what you'd have to do is one of two things, either merge everything onto a single layer or put everything inside of a layer group. So let's go with merging everything on a single layer first. And I can do that by going to layer, new from visible. So that puts everything on a single layer called visible. And if I shift click on this little eye icon, it'll hide everything else. And now with my eraser tool, let's see what happens when I erase this. It will erase everything simultaneously. So that's one way to erase everything. Of course, the issue with this is now everything is on a single layer. We still have the backups of the original layers, but if you perform a bunch of things on this visible layer and then do the erasing and realize you don't want to erase that, it may be hard for you to go back and edit any of the original elements from this visible layer. But there is another option and that's going to be placing everything inside of a layer group. So this method I just showed you is considered a destructive method because the erasing is occurring directly on this layer. I do want to note that if I hold the Alt key, I can use what's called the unerase tool. So if we're simply just trying to bring back the pixels we erased, holding the Alt key will do that. However, we are working directly on the pixels on this layer, so it can be destructive. The more non-destructive method for erasing everything simultaneously is to first let's delete this layer. So we'll delete the visible layer. Shift click on this eye icon to show all the original layers. So what we'll do for the non-destructive method is add a layer group. So here is our layer group and I'll double click on this and name this thumbnail elements, hit the enter key. So I can either add all of my layers in here or just the layers that I want to be erased simultaneously. For example, let's just go with the text and graphic elements and leave the image layer out. So I'm just going to click and drag each one of these inside of the layer group like so. Now what I can do is come up top to the layer group, right click on here and go to add layer mask. And now I'm gonna choose white full opacity and click add. Now we have a layer mask on all of the layers inside of our layer group. And I can always hide the layer group to see exactly what's in here. Now instead of using my eraser tool, what I'm actually gonna do is come over and grab my paintbrush tool. And I'm going to switch my colors here to black and white using this little icon. So whenever I paint black on a layer mask, it's going to act as an eraser. So let's paint black on here and see what happens. So now this is erasing only the graphical elements that are inside of the layer group, and it's erasing all of them simultaneously. But because this is a layer mask, we can always come over here at any time and right click. And for example, we can disable the layer mask, which is going to temporarily turn it off. Or if I right click and go to delete layer mask, that will totally get rid of it. And so we haven't actually destroyed or erased any of these original elements. And of course that applies to if I drag the image inside this layer group, come back up top here. And another way to add a layer mask is using this icon in the bottom right corner. So we'll go with white full opacity, click add. And with my paintbrush, if I paint on the layer mask, you'll see now it's going to erase everything simultaneously. I do want to point out one last thing that could be going on with your eraser, and that is simply that the opacity on your eraser is turned all the way down. So let's come over to the text box layer again, and let me just right click on the layer mask actually and click delete layer mask. So let's come back to the text box. So if I grab my eraser tool, if my opacity of my eraser is turned all the way down to zero, when I try to erase on here, you'll see nothing's happening. So all you have to do is simply turn the opacity back up to 100 and it should work again. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you could check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.